The Menyoshu, compiled by Otomo no Yakumochi, stands as one of the most significant anthologies of classical Japanese poetry. Comprising over 4,500 poems, it offers a window into the cultural, social, and emotional landscapes of ancient Japan. Yakumochi's compilation, completed in the 8th century, provides a rich tapestry of themes, including love, nature, seasons, and spirituality, reflecting the sentiments and experiences of diverse contributors from various social strata. Love emerges as a dominant motif throughout the Menyoshu, showcasing the complexities and nuances of romantic relationships in ancient Japan. The poems depict a range of emotions, from tender affection to profound longing and heartache. One notable aspect is the portrayal of love in connection with nature, intertwining human emotions with the natural world. For instance, poems often utilize imagery of flowers, birds, and seasons to evoke the intensity of love or the pain of separation. Nature holds a central place in the anthology, serving as a source of inspiration and metaphorical richness. The Japanese reverence for the changing seasons is palpable in the verses, with each season carrying its own symbolic significance. Spring symbolizes renewal and youth, with cherry blossoms frequently used to represent fleeting beauty and transience. Summer evokes themes of abundance and vitality, while autumn brings reflections on impermanence and the passage of time. Winter, with its cold austerity, is often associated with solitude and introspection. Spirituality also permeates the Menyoshu, reflecting the spiritual beliefs and practices of ancient Japan. Many poems explore themes of impermanence, reincarnation, and the divine, echoing Buddhist and Shinto influences. Through metaphors and allegories, poets contemplate the mysteries of existence and the cyclical nature of life and death. Spiritual longing and enlightenment are recurring motifs, underscoring humanity's perennial quest for meaning and transcendence. Beyond its thematic richness, the Menyoshu offers valuable insights into the socio-cultural milieu of early Japanese society. The anthology features poems from a diverse array of contributors, including emperors, aristocrats, soldiers, and commoners, providing a multifaceted view of life during that era. Poems often reflect the social customs, rituals, and values of the time, offering glimpses into courtly life, rural landscapes, and everyday experiences. Through the voices of its poets, the Menyoshu preserves the cultural heritage and collective memory of ancient Japan. Yakumochi's compilation technique is notable for its preservation of regional dialects and colloquial expressions, reflecting the linguistic diversity of early Japanese society. The anthology encompasses various poetic forms, including tanka, short poems, and choka, long poems, showcasing the versatility and creativity of classical Japanese poetry. Despite the passage of centuries, the emotional immediacy and evocative imagery of these poems continue to resonate with readers, transcending temporal and cultural boundaries. The Menyosho also serves as a testament to the enduring power of literature to connect individuals across time and space. Through its timeless themes and universal truths, the anthology fosters a sense of shared humanity and empathy, inviting readers to contemplate their own experiences in light of the poem's insights. In an ever-changing world, the voices captured within the Menyosho offer solace, wisdom, and inspiration, reminding us of the enduring beauty and resilience of the human spirit. In conclusion, the Menyosho, compiled by Otomo no Yakumochi, stands as a literary masterpiece that illuminates the cultural, social, and emotional landscapes of ancient Japan. Through its diverse themes, rich imagery, and varied voices, the anthology offers valuable insights into love, nature, spirituality, and society, inviting readers to engage with its timeless wisdom and beauty. As a testament to the enduring power of poetry, 
the Menyo Shu continues to captivate and inspire readers across generations, serving as a timeless testament to the human experience.